My father once told me that peace was like a dream. Beautiful, ephemeral, unattainable. I didn't listen. No one listened. What's up, everybody watching? I'm pretty sure my sugar high from plowing down Halloween candy and watching Blizzard cinematics from BlizzCon 2017 it died down a little bit with the excitement that came with watching the new expansion trailer for World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth. That trailer absolutely delivered 10 of 10. I think it is the best World of Warcraft intro trailer to an expansion that we have seen so far. But what it comes down to is what's inside the game that's going to keep the game rolling. And at BlizzCon, Blizzard also released a trailer, World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth, Features and Overview. Now, in this video, I'm going to react to the Features and Overview part of Battle of Azeroth to try and get an idea of what kind of zones we're going to be getting. Maybe we'll gather a little more on the story. Maybe we'll see what new races are in there, if it's sub-races. I'm very curious to see. Now, the only way we're going to be able to do that is by going and taking a look at the trailer. Because this is a first impression, and you'll only get one of those. So let's go over and do that and take a look at World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth, Features, and Overview the trailer. And I will give you my reaction. Here we go. Just when you think you have everything under control, you get to the point of one of these videos where you're about to hit the play button and see the new features for a World of Warcraft expansion. And the hype gets real all over again. Let's dive right into this video. I want to see what the features are for the new expansion for WoW. My father once told me... Jaina! peace was like a dream. Beautiful. Ephemeral. Now we know where Jaina is. I didn't listen. No one listened. We've made kindling from our suffering. Stirred the embers of resentment. Just waiting for a single spark to set the whole world aflame. Holy shit. Kiel Taras, this is where Admiral Proudmoore was in Warcraft 3. So it looks like we're not going to get a pirate expansion, they're just going to ball it into Battle for Azeroth? This is going to be the pirate part of the expansion that everybody thought we were going to get. As the Alliance returns to forgotten kingdoms, the Horde seeks the might of an ancient empire. What? The Zandalari? We're going to get to fight in Zandalar? They're finally bringing the trolls in. It's been so long since we've had good development with the trolls in World of Warcraft. Adventure to level 120. New dungeons and raids. Pretty self-explanatory. Plunder uncharted, uncharted islands. So there is no South Seas expansion. This is it. Dominate war fronts. We cannot dream any longer. She's going to be a villain. The time has come to call on allies willing to join the fight, to rally beneath the banners of a world at war. Get the... out of here. I noticed at the end of that there's six allied races. Someone, one of my friends, DM'd me on Twitter telling me that there was going to be six allied races in this game. And you were going to have to quest to unlock them. Three on the Horde side, three on the Alliance side. I thought I was being trolled originally when he said this because it just seemed so far-fetched. But now that I get to the end of this trailer, I'm kind of shocked that that is actually... Looks like it's going to be happening. That is, that is sick. I didn't get a chance to look over what those six allied races are, but that looks 
disgusting. And if that concept is real, where you can quest to unlock allied races on your main, I think it's time we take a look at everybody who said World of Warcraft was a dying game. Because this is our opportunity to point and laugh at them all. This looks ridiculous. You heard a lot of things about subclasses, but being able to quest to unlock allied races in-game to gain allies against the Horde or the Alliance is an originally new concept that is absolutely sick. I said earlier World of Warcraft was going to steal the show at BlizzCon, and so far it has. This has been an endless amount of stuff to cover from World of Warcraft. Now, another thing you noticed right away, Jaina Proudmoore is narrating this trailer. Jaina Proudmoore has been MIA since Legion, and it looks like she's going to be in Kilter Ross, referencing her father, Admiral Proudmoore. Last time we saw him, I believe, was World of War... I mean, not World of Warcraft, excuse me. Warcraft 3 endured her. That's... And she's going to be... I'm sure, in Kill Taras. That's where she disappeared to. I think that's where Jaina ended up going in the Legion expansion when she just pff, disappeared. I, she's going to be one of the villains in this game. It has been talked about over and over again about Jaina being one of the main antagonists, and this kind of points in that direction, because so far we haven't had one. So, we're going to be sailing around Kiltaras is an alliance territory. I'm sure we'll have some form of that on the Horde side as a Zandalari troll. I mean, maybe this will dive more into what happened to Vol'jin. There's just so much lore and content that they could place into this expansion. I mean, I, I'm i surprised we have seen nothing based off of Nagas at this point because you see... You could sail to different islands and we're going to be commanding ships, but there has been nothing said about Nagas. That's a little weird. I thought the next WoW expansion was going to include Ashara, but I haven't seen anything about her yet either. The only thing we have is Jaina Proudmoore narrating, so maybe she is actually the villain. Maybe she finally snapped in her head and she is going to be the villain in the new World of Warcraft. That is something we're just going to have to wait and see. I'm, I want to know what other people think about this one. I thought it was going to be Ashara in this expansion as the main villain, but right now it signs are kind of pointing at Jaina. Anduin's leading the Alliance. Sylvanas is leading the Horde. Jaina was a huge part of the Alliance, but seems she's kind of separated ties from them in this one. More of a neutral kind of figure. Jaina gone bad. Jaina has become a boss ass bitch and just taken things to a whole nother level from what I've seen so far. I mean, loving the idea of the new level caps. I I'm liking the idea that these looks like the zones are going to be scaling. This is another thing. Zones will be scaling back to our levels. This... Oh, man. This game looks like it's going to be phenomenal. I mean... The only question I have left is when is the release date and when can we play this and take my money. That's not a question, it's just seriously take my money after this. And I know there's more for World of Warcraft. I haven't looked, there's something called World of Warcraft Classic, which is another thing I really need to take a look at. I don't know what it's about, so I'm not going to speak on something I don't know about at this point. But so far, <laughs> World of Warcraft has just stolen the show at BlizzCon here. I mean, it's kind of leaving me speechless. I need to know in the comment section what everybody else is thinking of World of Warcraft, Battle for Azeroth. I think this is going to just phew, take this game right back to the top. There's just so much content in this so far that we've seen. Looks almost endless. I don't know what else I could say in this video. Everybody, if you're liking what I do here, drop this video a like. It helps the channel. Drop this video a comment. Give me an idea of what you're thinking about World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth at this point. Six, six sub-races and Jaina Proudmoore and along with ships. We get to sail on ships. I wonder if we're going to be able to command our own ships. I mean, the one thing that I'm kind of 
in between about at this point is it doesn't look like we'll be getting a South Seas Pirate expansion. It looks like it was balled in there, but having a Pirate expansion as a whole, I mean, it doesn't leave you quite enough content in my opinion, so it kind of makes sense to ball it all together. I'm really curious as to who the main antagonist is going to be. Leave some comments about who you think the antagonist in this expansion is going to be, even though it's real early. Curious as to what other people are thinking. I've been saying for a long time Jaina was going to end up being a villain. A lot of people called me crazy and thought it was going to be Sylvanas, but obviously that's not the route they're going to go. Everybody, what more can you say? We got the like part. We got the comment part. If you're liking what I do here, subscribe to the channel. That greatly helps. I will continue to put out more BlizzCon 2017 content and other Blizzard Entertainment gaming content. Thank you for watching. And have a good day or night, wherever you are. Hopefully I will see you in the next video. Later. We cannot dream any longer. The time has come to call on allies willing to join the fight. To rally beneath the banners of a world...